remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Boxing champ Javante Davis has been arrested for domestic abuse and simple assault. After he was captured on video, jacking up his ex-girlfriend. Backstory. The ex is sitting at a game. Javante walks up with a couple of goons. He grabs her near the throat. It's hard to tell if he actually was choking her, but he definitely grabbed her near the throat. He marches her to the back of the arena and they say the altercation continued. Now, guess how police found out about it? <laughs> you guessed it. <laughs> the video went viral. So the police said after a brief investigation, uh, talking to or communicating with sources on social media and eventually talking to the woman, they filed charges and Javante turned himself in. I'm going to include a link in the description so you can see this for yourself. But he jacked her up like she was some dude off the streets who owed him money. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say this. But none of us own each other. We don't have any slaves. We don't own each other. I'm your boyfriend, you're my girlfriend, simply to identify our relationship. Saying that you're my girlfriend or I'm your boyfriend does not give you legal claim to me or me to you. People need to go to some type of therapy classes, some type of uh, counseling before they enter relationships because most people really don't know how to communicate in relationships. When you don't get what you want, you don't get your way a lot of people don't know how to act except aggressively. Dude wasn't even in a relationship with the girl anymore. It's his ex. Now, I don't know how long they've been apart, but it's his ex. And to add insult to injury, it's his child's mother. Now, he did go on to, I think they said Twitter, to give his side of the story and say, yeah, I was a little aggressive, but I would never hit her. I didn't, I never hit her and I never would. That's the child, that's my, uh, the mother of my child. Not only should you not hit her, but when you became aggressive with her, jacking her up like that, that's considered assault. I hope he don't think that since he didn't actually strike her, that he wasn't abusing her because that so-called aggression is abuse. And if a joker did mine like that, he may as well lay down because it's on, on sight. I'm going to get him. We as men need to learn how to control our tempers. It's really a sign of weakness. When you allow what somebody else is doing to dictate exactly what you're going to do. Basically, it's like somebody sticking a key in your back and turning it, and then you just doing it, doing this. Pushing a button. You push, you know how like when you're in your car, if you push this button, this happens, you push that button, that happens, you know, you, you know, you push this button, this happens. Nobody should be able to have that kind of control over you. One of the things that you need to do, and this is what I learned over time, 
you have to think about different scenarios that you could possibly find yourself in. And then think about the best way to react to those circumstances so that you come out on top 100% of the time. Being in jail is never an option. That's never coming out on top. Unless, of course, you're in a situation where, you know, you got to defend your life. You know, it's a life or death type situation. And it's you are the perpetrator. And you got to do what you got to do. And you let the chips fall where they may. Rather be judged by 12 and carried by 6, et cetera, et cetera, and catch my sweater. You dig what I'm saying? But other than that, we really have to think about how we interact with one another in these relationships. If dude was that aggressive with her, maybe he's never hit her before. But that's coming. Guaranteed. So maybe that's the reason why that's his ex and not his current girlfriend. Maybe she decided to dip once she saw it was too much of that going on. He jacked her up with such ease, it didn't appear to be the first time he had became that aggressive with her. I saw a dude sitting right next to her. Kind of looked like they may have been together, but dude got up out of there real quick. I've heard a number of times that Javante is a hothead. They say he get into a lot of drama around that Baltimore area. I got people out in Baltimore who know him. And they say, you know, he's a hothead. He's 25 years old. I'm pulling for the youngster. I hope he can get it together real soon because he got a big old target on his back right now. And people are always looking for the come up. And they'll take it any way they can. They'll, they'll, people are jump in front of him while he's training and get hit and say, oh, you know, he, he attacked me. So he has to be very, very careful because as easy as it has been for him to knock people out and collect that bag, it'll be even easier for him to lose it. Like you, I don't know the whole story. I can only speculate that the relationship is over between the two of them. I can say this, if you don't want her, let somebody else have her. If you're not gonna treat her right, let somebody else have her. What you don't want in your life is a woman who you don't want causing you problems. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.